Version 2.5.1 is a minor update with changes only for the script button and the control change button when used as a circle button with the glide parameters. If you don't use any of those, there are no changes for you in this update. In the script button, a new next press action can be used to synchronize button presses with incoming MIDI events. The parameter is the index to the press command to be run the next time you press the button, starting with number 1 for the first defined press command in your script. I have a simple example script to show you how you can use it. It is connected to the cycle mode in my door, and I use the next press action to ensure that the next button press will toggle the state. When a cycle mode off event is received, I tell the script engine that the next time I press the button, the first press command should be run, setting the cycle mode on. And likewise, when a cycle mode on event is received, I tell the script engine that the next time I press the button, the second press command should be run, setting the cycle mode off. Now I can change state, both in my door and on Stream Deck, and they will always stay in sync, and I will always have the expected results when I press the button. If you have a use for the next press action, I assume that your situation is more complex, but I hope you get some ideas of how you can use it from this simple script. The control change button has a new feature where you can pause and resume a cycle button with glide parameters. I have two buttons gliding up and down to predefined values like this. They have a 4 second glide time, up and down. And the new feature is that if you start a glide, you can pause it anywhere and resume it. Like that. There are two important things I like to mention about the translation file. The first thing is that the parameter use closest value on receive must be set to no if you want the resume to continue from the current value. Otherwise it will locate the closest step and resume from that value. The second thing is that there was unfortunately an error in the documentation stating that glide up time was used to glide to a higher value and glide down time to a lower value. The correct statement is that glide up time is used to glide to the next step in the list in the direction from the first step and forward and glide down time in the opposite direction. In this update there is a new generic glide time parameter that is valid both ways. So you can always use this parameter unless you actually need different timing up and down from a specific step. If you have a list of ascending values, there is no difference since the next step in the list is the step with a higher value. But if you have a list of descending values, you need to swap the glide up, glide down time parameters or use the new glide time parameter in order for pause resume to work as expected. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching.